Welcome to the bit you've all been waiting for, running payroll. Are you ready for it? Because I know you are. Let's get payrolling. First up, click New Pay Run in the top right corner of the screen. Your pay schedule will then magically appear. Okay, it wasn't all magic. I had some help from this guy. If you've forgotten what this part is all about, it's when you pay your staff. For example, weekly versus fortnightly. Now this bit is kind of important. The pay period for your staff should be automatically populated from the start date you entered under the employment details section. If you need to change the dates though, just select a different pay period end date and the rest will be automatically adjusted. If you choose manually add employees to this pay run, it will populate your payroll with no employees. You'll need to whip out your keyboard and add the information in for any casual or part-time staff you may have that don't work every week. Any hours they've worked will automatically be added to the next pay run. No sweat if you need to change them, just select Create Pay Run with Empty Pays. You can then amend the hours worked, especially relevant if you have casual and part-time employees who work differing hours. For full-time employees, leave both boxes unticked and we'll automate the hours slash rate based on the employee details you provided previously. Now pop those spectacles on and look over everything. Check all your staff timesheets have been added. Great! Finally, you need to select a pay date. Then choose whether you want your staff to have access to their pay slips by clicking the shiny little button right here. If you need any help along the way, remember there's a support team available to you. Just reach out and they'll be happy to assist. And you've done it. You've set up your pay run. Now you're ready to go ahead and pay your staff. Not sure why we still have this frame, but we are so excited you finished your pay run. So let's take another second now to celebrate you.